five. C five. With the idea that if you take, we can play knight C four, start ganging up on that e pawn. I love right. that move. Trying to throw Gary off right away in the opening, and Gary realizes it. Yes, he's give me the pawn. He's doing four. what I would. And play F six. Just but, throw down the challenge. And we You're have the D6. one who sacrificed the pawn. Let's see how it goes. So now if we play D6, you just uh, I, just put your, your, you can just go knight, knight C8. Knight C8 I looks fine. I think you fine. gotta go knight C8 because if you go knight C6, we can take on C7 and play knight D6 check anyway. No, I know I didn't need that strong actually. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I'm not gonna be that strong because after king E7, your knight will have to leave. And the knight will come back. So Why Wesley, have B7 though? Oh. I think Wesley's just gonna play B7 bishop E3 and slow play it. Yeah. Like as a pawn sacrifice. Right, and then we have D6 in the card anyway. Way. Exactly. Yeah. That's exactly right. So, uh. Um, hold on a second. In this position, b5 is an idea. He has played d6, and knight drop back to c8. So, we are seeing this critical line d6, knight drop back, and now the move bishop to e3. That is an interesting variation. The point being that the knight on g8 cannot get in the game, and white is threatening the pawn on c5. The question is, what if b5 right now, now he's played b6 being very solid. B5 didn't, I guess, didn't lead anywhere. But, but this move B6 after Castles White is way ahead in development. Black has to figure out how to unravel his pieces. Well, it's very simple, Maurice. You just play Knight H6 in such positions. You bring your Knight to F7, and you quickly, and I mean quickly, get your King out of the center. And again, these pieces on the King side, White's pieces, the Bishop on E3, Bishop on E2, Knight on F3, are not. Uh, major actors in this type of structure where black is blockading with his pawns on e5 and c5. Personally, uh, it's easier to play Wesley's position, but uh, I actually like black's extra pawn. And Gary's and played the move bishop to c6, very attacking cagey. the pawn. I like that move too, attacking the pawn on e4, as well as now threatening the pawn on d6 three times. That's right, and stopping any kind of little ideas like queen d5 that we might have in the position. Right. So now... The engines are giving takes on c7 yeah. right now. After all, that pawn is hanging, and he has to take and capture back by Gary. And now the move b4, Wesley insisting Whoa. on playing incredibly sharp chess on every move, and Gary shaking his head because Wesley will not let him develop any pieces without aggression on the board That's and right. now he just can't develop his knight because c5 is hanging but if he takes on b4 then a rook will go to c1 and that is his plan wesley on every move it looks like wesley's intent on opening up the game playing gambit chess and forcing kasparov to think and kasparov boldly just taking the pawn anyway That's right well, the capture did in fact occur and now rook to c1 that he did not play knight e7 just yet. That move has not been played just yet. So what kind of attack? what is Wesley's plan? Well, Simple, can we... keep that king in the center. That was why I wanted to go knight h6 and f7. Wesley is not letting Gary breathe. Every single move, he's throwing down a new challenge, a new sacrifice. Wesley's idea is to play queen b3. And, and he's done that. And knight e7, queen b3 is on the board, so you don't want to castle right now because of a horrific discovery by that knight. Exactly. The queen on the long diagonal, preventing the king from castling. How will he get out of the center? That is, uh, and that the is engines, the by the way, are giving a huge edge to white right now, saying that wow. white is crushing black by a full piece, according to the engines, because the black king is stuck in the middle of the board. H six. That's what? not making any progress H6? in this position. Well, can we six. just can we how do we build up the position as white? We could just, just play rook to d1 rook or to d1. I like that. Just yeah. play rook d1 and at some point you, you gotta be careful about us removing the knight from c4 and sticking a bishop on b5. That is absolutely right. This position is huge for white. Full compensation for two pawns down. Two pawns down. Rook d1 play the was rook d1. played. But but the question is I'm trying to get into Gary's head. What was he thinking about with this move H6? He can't. He can't be thinking about playing F5, opening up the position to oh, no, the better be army. Death. No. So what was? Well, he's played B5 here. B5 now on the board. The engines give that as totally lost. Knight takes E5. Bishop B5. What is this about? Wow. More sacrifices. The engines, Every single the engines gave knight a5 is completely crushing, but this is bad as well. 
This is also bad. That C6 bishop. We're threatening bishop C6 oh. and queen E6 check. What about just queen E6 right now as exactly. well? Exactly. Everything is bad for him. He just played rook to BA, forcing the trade. It looks like queen E6 won't work r right now, but there's got to be a well, death blow. Well, you can take on C6 and and then take play queen E6 also. He's played but he's bishop, just played bishop A4, A4, renewing the threat. Wesley's playing incredible chess. Oh, yes. That was the engine's first. Unbelievable chess first by Wesley. Choice. Choice. So far, gorgeous attacking game. And he did in it in blitz. Seconds. It's just astonishing the way he's completely dismantling Kasparov in this game. He is playing just sacrificial chess. He's playing in the style of Tao. You're looking at this right now. Beautiful. Fantastic game so far. This is and Gary awesome. missed, I think Gary missed B4 because you can see as soon as the move B4 happened, he was already like, whoa, I wasn't expecting that. It's Queen B7. He played it, Queen it to like, B7 oh, on to the B7. board. Queen and, B7. Oh my not goodness. B7. Rook C6 Rook C6 is C6 crushing. Rook C6 check. Yeah. Rook C6 is just, if he finds that, this is I the other game which uh, is not nearly as exciting He's as going to find Rook C6. Will he find it? Check. Rook C6. Guys. And bam! There, there it is. is. Yeah. Wow. Wesley Wesley so. Oh, so playing, playing one of the greatest oh, greatest man. blitz games I've ever and now witnessed. He's played, um, uh, now he's played Bishop C5, and he's just threatening Bishop takes C6. This oh, is I like mean, Bishop takes Morphe six. This is versus unbelievable. the Duke. Uh, this is yeah, unbelievable this is, chess. This is one and of the greatest. Gary knows it now. He's completely busted. What an amazing display by wow. Wesley. And now taking on E7 and resigns. What, what are we seeing here? I mean, kudos to Wesley. So he just ripped Gary apart in that game. You can look at this game from, from just studying.